When will I be cancelled? Should I be cancelled? Have I already been cancelled? Cancel culture exists, but can we agree on who to cancel and what they should be cancelled for? What do you know about cancel culture? Cancel or cancer? Cancel culture. An appointment, uh, if I make a booking at something. What do you think it could be? These days, you get more and more people into subscribing into stuff, and then they have to cancel things. I know, and then all your money's gone. Yeah. If you're cancelled, what does that mean? It means that the opinion I expressed have now cost me my job. Right, so it's about losing your job. Losing my job, losing my, my position, losing my influence. I think calling it cancel culture is a negative thing. I think calling it what it is, which is holding people accountable, is a good thing. What examples are there of cancel culture when it's gone too far? Um, toppling down statues without proper discussion, um, cancelling people speaking at universities. Have you ever been cancelled? <laughs> no. I never have been cancelled. No. I'm not really on anywhere to kind of cancel, I don't think. Do you ever worry about being cancelled? Yeah, quite, quite a lot, I think. I make some pretty on the cusp jokes. No, but I probably should have been. Really? For, for what? Grotesque humour. What, like jokes that are... Yes. Fu not funny? No, they're definitely funny. What's one of the jokes that you say that's like a bit on the edge? Oh, I think everyone's done something that they could be cancelled for. Mm -hmm. I don't know who would cancel me. Okay, you got nothing on you. A friend of mine had a situation where she she didn't like the Marks and Spencer's Christmas advert, and somebody didn't like her opinion, and then reported her to her work, and she was interviewed by the HR. What was wrong with that Christmas ad? I can't remember it. Maybe the mince pies were wrong, the wrong shape. No. It's before we would have been, you know, armchair philosophers at the pub. We'd just be talking to our own little social group. We've never really had much interaction with people that have different views outside of those bubbles. And I think now we're actually starting to have to have these conversations with other people as opposed to just sticking to our own little small friend groups. Do you think there are any opinions that are problematic? I think there are some opinions that are non factual. So, for instance, you say all girls are dumb. I mean, that is yeah, that an opinion, is... but that is not factual. It's not factual, no. Yeah. Personally, I used to say loads of mad stuff online. I was probably on a watch list for a while, but I was a kid and I just deleted it all. I was like, oh, f that. But like I say, if I ever did get famous or anything like that, all that would still be there. You know what I mean? It would come back. Do you ever worry about being cancelled? Oh, I'm the boss, so I'm nah. No. I'm the gaffer. You're the gaffer. I'm incancellable. So I'm going to name some people and you tell me if they've been cancelled or not. Um, JK Rowling. Cancelled. Katie Hopkins, off Twitter. She's been going on for years, years, saying so much about all different cultures, people. Piers Morgan. Probably cancelled. I think he's just got to take another direction. Like, he'll probably just like go to like Fox News or wherever. You've been cancelled. I've not been cancelled. Right. No, not yet. To get shit on social media is a sense of accountability, but it's not permanent. Well, hopefully yeah. I don't get cancelled. Yeah, I hope so too. I like your content. Thank you. Do you think there are any legitimate reasons to be cancelled? Um, only if you're causing major harm to a person. If it's, threats. If it's personal. I think threats and, per it's personal. Threats and personal. Yeah. Committing crime or some grave moral misdeed. What about a joke that's taken out of context? No. What's the legitimate reason to be cancelled for? Um, racism, homophobia, misogyny. Anything like that. Racism, sexism, homophobia. Just anything that kind of goes against basic human rights. It, it depends, I suppose, how offensive it is, because what is offensive to somebody is not offensive to somebody else. What do you think a legitimate thing to be cancelled for is? Legitimate? Um, I don't know, I guess if you're like a pedo or something. or Yeah, yeah. pretty bad.
what does cancel culture achieve? Can we truly hold people accountable? And do people learn from their mistakes? Do you think it's hard to determine what's wrong and right? <laughs> You'll get a bit existential. <laughs> Do you think it's hard to find a consensus on what is right and wrong? Um, yes, because we're dealing with different age groups and different people from different backgrounds, so it's always going to be hard. Jesus! Can I ask? But you trust and obey. Can I, can I ask you a few questions about cancel culture? What does justice mean to you? Well, humans cannot necessarily give judgment unless they're actually guided from above. OK, so what about like the courts of law, for example? Well, the judicial system is based on the word of God, isn't it? How do we decide which opinions are right and which are wrong? Like we do in democracy, how do we decide who rules the country? You take a vote. So how do you decide which opinion is right? You retweet, you like or you share. When was the last time you held someone accountable? Oh, um, last night, because <laughs> my housemate is actually um, where's this going, by the way? I guess if you were to cancel him, you'd have to kick him out. Yeah, That's exactly. the cancellation. Then, or I'd have to leave. <laughs> yeah. Can I use the word woke? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Unfortunately, people who like to see themselves as woke um, don't want to listen to other people's opinions and they are speaking loudly. If someone were to say, like, a sexist joke on Twitter, what would you think a legitimate punishment would be? I think the punishment they get be... If it's just a wee slip up or they just say something a bit daft, it's just like, that's out of order, mate. I apologise for that. Hands up, sorry, shouldn't have said that, I take it back. Losing your ability to speak those messages of hate and stuff is punishment enough. Do you think being sent to prison is the same as being cancelled? No. Why? Um, because when you've been sent to prison, you've usually been convicted of having done something wrong by a judge and a jury of your peers. So not by a Twitter? Definitely not. I'm trying to reframe my mind into a more restorative justice type of framework away from like current methods of punishment, such as like policing and all that kind of stuff, because it doesn't benefit an entire race of people. Do you think that justice can be served within cancel culture? When you take people's platforms away, they don't have to be held so accountable because you know, you're know you no longer paying attention to them. So I think maybe if you were to kind of keep them in the spotlight but hold them accountable for their views and therefore it'd be easier to educate other people as to why those opinions are wrong. It can just be out of pure ignorance and so it has to come along with that helping that person understand why people are trying to cancel them, help them understand what the actual issue is. I think we need to start you know, thinking about ways to remold our community in a way that like is more centered around restoring people and like having them do better next time rather than punishing them and like make it, like capping what they can do with their life because of that mistake. So there is some consensus on what crimes are worthy of cancellation, but people are less clear on how severe the punishment should be. It's almost as if the idea of justice means something different to everyone. It's, it's, it's a lot to think about, but I think we should be willing to have yeah. a conversation. Yeah, big questions.